हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द सम व्हिच विल नॉट आस्क इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सो देन व्हाई वी नीड टू डू दैट सम व्हाट इज द रीजन नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ वी आर डूइंग दिस टाइप ऑफ सम देन इट विल हेल्प यू इन चैप्टर नंबर 5 as well as same chapter number 6 and even i can say chapter number 7 also but most probably it is useful in chapter number 5 and 6 only in 7 chapter many less places it is useful but this will not in your examination but on this basis you can understand next two chapters very easily from next two chapters eight marker question will be there in your final examination eight marker question one second eight marker question from sixth number chapter so chapter number 5 eight marker question chapter number 6 eight marker question and that eight marker question you can solve after doing this and even from today you will get minimum 4 marks of that 8 marker question it means 4 mark of chapter number 5 and 4 mark of chapter number 6 and that's why without wasting my time i am going to explain my this sum now this is the illustration number 8 which is given in your textbook i am reading question from my textbook and try to listen and understand now what we need to do in this sum so whenever reconstruction of form is done at that time generally we need to prepare revaluation account because all the assets and liabilities are revalued its original value is counted and then its effect is given and that's why revaluation account is prepared so main thing in this question is revaluation account but to explain you each and everything to explain you each and everything i am showing whole sum to you in this question also wholesome is not there but we are doing wholesome so first of all in reconstruction what is prepared revaluation account because valuation of assets and liabilities are done so revaluation account second thing capital account cash or bank account these are not compulsorily we need to prepare but as per commercial method this is compulsory to prepare so that we can easily solve the sum so revaluation capital cash or bank whatever is given and new balance sheet most imp things are so new balance sheet why new because old balance sheet given in your question and whatever changes made in assets and liability after making that changes we are preparing new balance sheet and that's why i am going to take whole sum even it is not asked in your this question so this lecture is very important for what to getting four marks in chapter number 5 and second four marks in chapter number 7 6 now sir how we can prepare revaluation account so very easy rule to prepare revaluation account so which is the easiest rule if you are happy then credited in revaluation account and if you are sad then debited to revaluation account only this rule will help you to prepare revaluation account as well as new balance sheet 
सर हाउ हैप्पी एंड सैड आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एग्जैक्टली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टूड नाउ सपोज ना वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डी वैल्यूएशन अगेन कैलक्युलेटिंग दी वैल्यू हुज वैल्यू एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटी वैल्यू नाउ थिंक इफ वी आर रिवेल्युएटिंग एसेट रिवेल्यूइंग एसेट एंड एसेट इंक्रीज यू विल हैप्पी और सेट सर डेफिनेटली एसेट इंक्रीज हैप्पी सेम वे सर इफ यूर लाइबिलिटी इंक्रीज यू हैव टू पे समथिंग टू अडर सर सेट आई डोंट नीड टू पे same way think if your asset decrease asset decrease then sir so said my asset decrease no i don't like it same way think if liability decrease now i don't need to pay anything suppose government declare don't pay tax for one two years then sir so happy my liability decreases so this is the rule to make revaluation if you are happy right credit side if you are sad right debit side so what is the rule of happy and sad so asset increase happy asset decrease sad same way liability increase happy liability sorry liability increase sad liability decrease happy on this basis we can easily solve revaluation account so here i can make smiley same way here said and on this basis we are doing the sum now i am reading some and one by one giving the effect so first of all what is given in your textbook i am reading please try to understand illustration number 8 harish dhruvil and manoj are partners of a partnership firm their profit and loss sharing ratio is 3 2 and 1 so first of all after reading this i am writing 3 to 1 Here, three, two, and one. This is the ratio between Harish, Dhruvil, and Manoj. Now, going ahead, as on thirty-one three seventeen, balance sheet of the firm as on thirty-one three seventeen is given as. on page number 123 so on page number 123 balance sheet is given now i am not reading balance sheet first reading next topic that is as on above balance sheet date profit loss sharing ratio is changed to 132 now new profit and loss sharing ratio is there Old ratio is three to one. New profit and loss sharing ratio is one three two. That is decided, and also decided the revaluation of assets and liability of business as follow. So in balance sheet, assets and liabilities are given, and they decided to revalue that asset and liability. Now, first number adjustment is given. See. first number land value is increase up to rupees 3 lakh 50 thousand so first of all land value is increase up to 3 lakh 50 thousand is given now in balance sheet land is given 3 lakh rupees now land 3 lakh rupees given and we need to increase up to 3 lakh 50000 so first of all right here land 3 lakh rupees now we need to increase its value up to 3 lakh 
which is given in adjustment number one. So, sir, increase means plus increase value. Now, up to three fifty means fifty thousand. We need to increase. So in outer column, what we need to write? So three lakh fifty thousand. So this is my first. Now think happy or sad? So simple. Asset increase. Increase. Happy. Decrease. Sad. Simple. So sir, here happy. Fifty thousand asset increase. Now how many rupees happy? Sir, fifty thousand rupees happy. So write down happy side revaluation account credit. What we are writing by land account and amount is fifty thousand. If you have a doubt and doubt in you, not. In concept, you can easily understand this concept. Now, next, same adjustment. Building value is increased by seventy thousand. So, building value we want to increase by seventy thousand. Now, building is given four lakh eighty thousand in old balance sheet. So, here I am writing building four lakh eighty thousand. That is given in balance sheet. Now we need to increase its value by seventy thousand. So sir, plus increase seventy thousand. Outer side, sir, total of this two. So make total five lakh fifty thousand. Now again, think happy or sad? Sir, happy, simple. Building value increase. Then happy. How many rupees are happy? Seventy thousand rupees happy. So sir, write down here by building account seventy thousand. Simple. Sir, adjustment number one completed. Now I am reading second adjustment from your textbook. Machinery value keeps up to rupees one fifty. So we need to make value of machinery one lakh fifty thousand. Now machinery value already given that is two lakh rupees. So first of all, I am writing machine value. So machinery value is two lakh rupees. And we need to keep it one lakh fifty thousand. Now, how we can make it one fifty, sir? Definitely, we have to deduct. So, decrease in the value of machinery. Said fifty thousand will be said. And I can write outer column one lakh fifty thousand. Sir, now asset value decrease. Said fifty thousand. Said means debit side to machinery account fifty thousand. To machinery account fifty thousand. So in this way, we can prepare this revaluation account, and it is very easy to prepare. Second adjustment clear, sir. Now talking about third adjustment. Investment value decrease twenty percentage. So we need to decrease investment value twenty percentage. Sir, investment is one lakh twenty thousand given. So first of all, I am writing investment one lakh twenty thousand and. Decrease in investment twenty percentage. So twenty percent decrease. 
So twenty four thousand rupees decrease in investment. Sir, so outer column value simple sir ninety six thousand. Again sir asset decrease said said means debited. So right here to investment account twenty four thousand. I am hundred percent sure up to this level no difficulty will be there. Next adjustment number four. Provide ten percent for bad debt reserve and five percent for discount reserve on debtors. Sir, ten percent bad debt reserve, five percent discount reserve. That we need to deduct from debtors. So debtors are given eighty thousand rupees. So first of all, write here debtors eighty thousand. Now from this we need to deduct ten percent bad debt reserve. So minus bad debt reserve, ten percent of this eighty thousand. Sir, eight thousand. Now after deducting this, we are getting seventy two thousand. Sir, next discount reserve also deducted. So write discount reserve. Sir, what is the percentage of discount reserve? Five percent discount reserve. So thirty six. Hundred. And subtract thirty six hundred from seventy two one thousand. So sixty nine, sixty eight, four hundred rupees. Sixty eight, four hundred. Now think, sir. Again, debtors means my asset. Now it is decrease. Bad debt reserve because of bad debt. Bad debt reserve eight thousand and discount reserve thirty six hundred. Again, decrease means debited. So here we are writing. To bad debt reserve account, to discount reserve account, amounts are eight thousand, three thousand six hundred rupees. So simple. So deducted means debit. Now next adjustment number five. Fifty percentage stock value decrease by ten percentage. Now stock value is decreased by ten percent, but fifty percent stock only decreases, not whole stock. So first of all, I am writing whole stock and closing stock is given fifteen thousand. So first of all, I am writing here closing stock fifteen thousand. Now some calculation I am doing here. Then after clearing the board, sir, from fifteen thousand rupees stock, fifty percent value decrease by ten percent. So fifty percent means what, sir? Seven thousand five hundred, and its value is decrease by ten percentage. So seven fifty decrease. So actually we can say. Sir, overall from stock, seven fifty rupees decreases. Simple. So don't calculate anything else. Just deduct seven fifty from whole stock. So minus decrease in stock, seven fifty rupees. So after deducting this, what will be the answer? Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand two hundred and fifty. This is the answer. Now again, sir, stock is my asset. Stock also decreases. 
सेट डेबिट टू स्टॉक अकाउंट एंड सर स्टॉक अकाउंट इज सेवन फिफ्टी सो सेवन फिफ्टी सिंपल वन नाउ सर एडजस्टमेंट नंबर फाइव ऑल्सो कंप्लीटेड एडजस्टमेंट नंबर सिक्स अनरेकॉर्डेड आउटस्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंस इज अमाउंट टू टू थाउजेंड मीन्स एक्सपेंस वी नीड टू पे विच इज नॉट रेकॉर्डेड एंड दैट वैल्यू इज टू थाउजेंड सो राइट डाउन फर्स्ट आई एम क्लियरिंग दी बॉर्ड Outstanding expense two thousand. It is the liability. So we have to write at liability side. Now, sir, liability increases. There was no liability. Now it is increases. We can say just minute. Outstanding expense eighteen thousand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In balance sheet, outstanding expense eighteen thousand is already given. And two thousand is need to record it. So plus increase two thousand outer column, sir. Twenty thousand, sir. But liability increase said. Said means debited to outstanding expense account. Two thousand rupees. Outstanding expense account, two thousand rupees. Now, sir, last adjustment and that last adjustment is given unrecorded prepaid rent rupees three thousand. So rent prepaid it means it's my asset and that is unrecorded. So we need to record it. So here we are writing unrecorded prepaid. Rent three thousand rupees. Sir, so happy here. There was no prepaid asset. Now assets increases three thousand rupees increase. So happy by prepaid rent account three thousand rupees. Simple. so after doing this all adjustment sir my main adjustment entries they are complete 100% completed now reading ahead from the above information write journal entries sir you don't have prepared journal entry format don't worry just a minute next and prepare revaluation account in the books of partnership firm sir here question is for only revaluation account so in this question legally we need to prepare only this revaluation account but to explain you each and everything perfectly i am doing whole sum its two effects in balance sheet as well as revaluation how we are doing it that i am explaining to All of you, only and only because of this is useful in next chapters. Otherwise, in this question, only this account we need to prepare and need to write journal entry. Journal entry will be very easy. Don't worry about it. So, sir, this is hundred percent completed. Now, now, don't forget. In old balance sheet, as per adjustment, changes are done. But some items are there which are not written still. Now, now I am reading that items which is given in textbook in your question. First of all, I am reading assets, land, sir, completed, building, sir, completed, machinery, completed, investment, completed, data, completed. Bills receivable, sir. Bills receivable is not written here, and in all bill all balance sheet given it is given. So write down 
same as bills receivable 20,000. So here, bills receivable and bills receivable is 20,000. So next topic that is given bank balance, cash balance. So here, here you have prepared cash and bank balance. But here cash balance, bank balance, different values are given. So we have to prepare two accounts. Cash account, bank account. In this sum, it is not required. Because no entry for cash is in this sum. So directly write down, without giving any effect. Directly write down, bank balance. Cash balance. Now bank balance is given 1 lakh rupees. Cash balance is given 40,000. So 1 lakh bank balance 40,000 cash balance. That is given. Now next things are income receivable. Sir income receivable also not there. So write down income receivable. Our income receivable amount is 10,000 rupees. So write down 10,000 rupees. Closing stock. Sir, closing stock is already written. So then asset side is completed. Now we are talking about liability side. Sir, in liability side, capital account is there. And in capital account, Harish, Dhruvil and Manoj. Three capitals are given. 365, 3 lakh and 1 lakh. So I am writing here. As per Kamal sir, Bala Bidi. Bala Bidi, 3 lakh 65,000. Second, 3 lakh. And last, 1 lakh. So capital of three partners, three lakh sixty-five thousand, three lakh and one lakh rupees. So it's a balance of that capital that is given in your balance sheet. So we have written here Bala Bidi. Next, sir, bank loan is given. So bank loan not written here. So write down bank loan. Now amount of bank loan is 4,50,000. So write down 4,50,000. Same way sir. Creditors also given 1 lakh rupees. So write down creditors 1 lakh rupees. Sir bills payable given 32,000 rupees. So write down bills table, 32,000 rupees. Sir, outstanding expense given 18,000. That is already written outstanding expense. Now from old balance sheet, there is no, no any item remaining to write down. All the things is written on the board. And question 100% completed. Now, important thing. Close all the accounts. How we are closing it? Try to understand. First of all, we are closing revaluation account. In revaluation account, three items 50,000, 70,000, and 3,000 given credit side. And at debit side, 50,000, 24,000, 8,000, 3,600, 750, and 2,000 is written. Now, total of credit side. Make total of credit side. So total of credit side is 1,23,000. Here also 1,23,000. Same we are writing because here profit. I know. Now from 1,23,000 
I am deducting all these values of debit side. So deduct all the values. And I am getting balance. And that balance is 34,650. 34,650. Now sir, what it balance called? This balance is called revaluation profit. If balance can be fine or balance is credit side, then that balance is called revaluation loss. Now this is distributed among the partners. In which ratio sir? Old ratio which was in which they were distributing. New ratio is not considered. So old ratio 3 to 1. This 34,650 distributed among partners H, D and M H, D and M in the ratio of 3, 2 and 1 and 17, 3, 25 17,325 second is 11,550 and third one 5,775 and total of this all 34,650 now this is distributed among the partners here the evaluation account profit 17 now sir closing of this account so we are closing this account. Now make total. Total of. This size. So if we are making total. Then we are getting. 382325. Same way total of this. 311550. Make total of this one zero five seven seven five. So here also no values are given. So same total is here three eight two three two five three one one five five zero one zero five seven seven five. So nothing is deducted. Is called Bala pretty. Sir, so opening balance and this is the closing balance. Writing the amount. 382325. 311550. And last 105775. Now this is the closing balance which is transferred to new balance sheet and this same amount we are writing here capital of Harish, Dhruvil and Manoj and making total of it. So first of all we are writing 382325. So second 311 550 and third one 105 775 and we are making total of this 3 we will get answer 799 650 799650. Now, sir, total of both the sides must be same. Must be same. 
if it is not same then your answer is wrong here also suppose cash and bank balance is given and something adjustments are there then closing of this this is also transferred to balance sheet but here no effect given directly amounts are written here otherwise bala bidi bala sidi closing balance transferred to balance sheet same thing no tension is there so now making the total and total of this so 450 10 32 20 okay and total is 140 1650 140 1650 same if we are if we are making total of asset side then also we are getting 1401650 50 i am checking the all amounts 350 and 10 total of this 1401650 now this is the important thing whole sum is completed 100% sum is completed but what is the question in this illustration sir so question is only one revaluation account and general entry so these are things done by you that is extra thing useful in next chapter now this whole situation is clear i am definitely sure this is clear but sir how i am writing general entry so see my general entry also for that i am clearing this balance sheet and show you one two general entries on that basis you can make all the general entries so So here I am preparing columns for general entry. All of you know, sir, date, particular, LF, debit, credit. Now easy way to write general entry. First of all, I am writing first name. Sir, simplest one. Revaluation account debited. So I am writing revaluation account debit. So which amount fifty thousand? Two machine account fifty thousand. This is also fifty thousand. So same revaluation account debited to investment account second general entry revaluation account debited to Investment account twenty four thousand twenty four thousand. Same way you can make all the entries. So revaluation account debit to bad debt reserve account. Revaluation account debit to bad debt bad debt discount reserve account. Revaluation account debit debit to stock account. Revaluation account debit to outstanding expense account. Revaluation account debit to Harish Capital account to. Jewel Capital Account to Manoj Capital Account. Now, sir, for credit side, what we are writing? Simplest one. Suppose third general entry. I am writing here lend. So by lend account debit. By lend account debit is fifty thousand rupees. To revaluation account fifty thousand rupees. Same way by building to revaluation. By prepaid rent to revaluation account. In this way, you can make general entries also. No extra general ent entries required in this. So, from this revaluation account, we are making general entries, and that is very easy to write. Thank you very much. 
but expecting doing same sum in your homework with detail. Bye-bye.